Hi everyone, in this video we will understand how we can move our DNS records from GoDaddy to Azure DNS. My name is Ankur Jain and welcome to my YouTube channel Coder Journey. DNS records from GoDaddy to Azure DNS. So what we will be doing in this particular video, we will understand how we can move our DNS records from GoDaddy to Azure DNS. We will also learn how we can manage them from uh, instead of managing them from GoDaddy, how we how we can manage them from Azure DNS. One thing I would like to you know mention here that our hosting domain hosting provider will still still be GoDaddy, but the management will be moved to the Azure DNS. So you you Azure DNS doesn't provide the facility to buy or purchase a domain. We still have to you know purchase and buy our domain from GoDaddy, but yeah the management all can be done at Azure DNS. I have broken up this uh, tutorial in certain steps. So what we will be doing, we will be first setting up a website on Azure. Then in the second step, we will try to access that website through the GoDaddy that usually we do. In the third step, we will set up an Azure DNS resource on Azure, Azure using the Power Web Portal. And in the fourth step, we will be actually doing the migration and the movement of uh, DNS records from GoDaddy to Azure DNS. That we will be doing in two steps. First, we will move the subdomain and then we will also see how we can uh, move the complete domain from GoDaddy to Azure DNS. So starting with the first step, setting up a website. So in the first step, we will be setting up a website on Azure. So I have already done that for you. So this website is basically, uh, it could be any website, which, which is your website. And that would be having certain domain name, public domain name, and it could also be an IP address. So let's go to our Azure portal. So this is my Azure portal. I will go to the subscription. And in this subscription, I will go to the resource groups. And this is my already created resource group where I have created a website Coder Juni and uh, here you can see uh, here URL will appear so if I copy here and it, if I paste here and this is the default website uh, which is showing up over here so this is a default website I have not deployed any code here but you can see the URL of this website is Coder Juni uh, sorry Coder Juni dot Azure website dot net so I don't want that my uh, URL should include Azure websites and .NET. So, but yeah, this could be our requirement. Like we are having some uh, website which is you know having a domain like this, or uh, it could also be like we could have a certain IP address. So, uh, and eventually we want to put some domain before that, so that we will understand in step two. So coming to the step two, accessing the website via GoDaddy DNS. So what we will be doing, we will be setting up a domain, subdomain on GoDaddy and we'll move and point out that subdomain to this Azure website that we just, that I just showed you. And what will happen when a user will uh, hit the browser and will put the, put your domain then it will the request will go to the GoDaddy and then GoDaddy will forward the request to the website. So let's see how practically this works. So again, I will go to uh, my web browser and I will just copy this path. Now I will go to my uh, GoDaddy account and here I can see these are the three domains I have already. So I will select my website's domain and I will go to the manage DNS. So you can see there are a lot of DNS records. So all the management as of now is happening on the GoDaddy site. So what I will do as of now, I'm not doing any migration, but uh, I just want to show you how actually and uh, how without Azure DNS, how we are doing it right now. So I will create a CNAME record. So and I am creating a subdomain GoDaddy and I'm pointing it out to the website that I just created on Azure and I'm keeping custom uh, TTL so I'm just keeping it 60, 60 seconds 
So what it will do, it will create, as of now you can see, this is my website, Coda Journey. And I, as of now, I, if I hit GoDaddy, sorry, instead of www, if I hit GoDaddy.coda.journey.com, then it is not working. And it should not be working because there is no domain setup. So what I'm doing, here I'm creating a subdomain and I'm pointing it out to my Azure website. There are two types of records, CNAME and A, A, and A type. So when you are pointing out to some another domain, then you should use CNAME. And when you are redirecting to some IP, then you could use A, uh, A type record. So as of now, in our case, we are redirecting to, a, uh, to another domain. So we are using CNAME. So, as of now, it is not allowing me to save this. So maybe I should just remove this part. Uh, so what we will do here, we will create a CNAME record. We'll give this name GoDaddy and I'm pointing out to coderjourney.azurewebsite.net and the TTL is one hour. So I'm just saving this. So you can see a new record has been created over here and now we can try and go to this URL so go .com. so yeah as of now it is not working so it may take some time to reflect over the internet uh, so we uh, what we will have to do is you know we just have to wait for some time maybe if 10 minutes or 15 minutes then after that we can try and see whether it is working or not so I'm, as of now I'm just pausing my video and we'll get back to you once it is working. So... Hi guys, so I'm back and after 10 minutes, so now if I type this URL on my browser, then you will see that uh, I'm getting redirected to Azure website that I created. But the, re uh, the reason I'm getting this message because I have not configured the custom domain on my app service. So that I, I have to do it from custom domain and all this stuff. I, as of now, this is the free app service run, so I cannot do that. But the point is, you know, we are getting redirected to Azure websites that we had configured earlier. And you can see that, you know, uh, we, we are getting this message and this is all uh, behind the scenes this godaddy.coderjourney.com is pointing out to azurewebsite.co so now they, we, we are done with the step 2 and we have seen how we are, how we can do this in uh, godaddy so now moving to the step 3 so guys so we have completed step 2 now we are at step 3 which is setting up an azure dns resource so as we will be doing uh, and we will be managing all the DNS record in Azure DNS. So for that, we will have to create a, a resource with Azure DNS. So we can go to our resource group and from here we can type DNS and select DNS zone. And from here we can create. So now the name should be the domain name. So what actually you want to keep the name of your domain. So uh, as of now, we have created uh, a domain godaddy.coderzone.com. So now we will be creating another domain that was name will, will be azure.coderzone.com. So it should be the same name as, you know, uh, uh, it should be the name of the domain that you want to host on uh, uh, Azure. So in case you want to completely uh, on uh, coderjourney.com then you can uh, keep this name it like that but yeah as of now we are just you know hosting a subdomain so we will be you know keeping it as azure.coderjourney.com so I will go and create it and this usually takes a couple of minutes so before that so now we will go here in our Azure, uh, sorry, GoDaddy portal and here we will add another record and what we will do is, you know, we will be doing, we will be creating an Azure host. So that is the, that is for subdomain. Now we are not, we will not be you know, pointing out here to that 
orderjourney.azurewebsite.net. So we will be, you know, selecting the name server, and that this is a crucial part. So here the resource has been created, and now I will go to this in azure.orderjourney.com, and I can see that there are certain domain uh, name server records have been uh, given to us here. So I will go and select these records. So uh, you can see this record. So I what I will do, I will go to my uh, GoDaddy portal and uh, here I will select a name server, will choose my subdomain and I will just write it here like this and I will make it custom and will make it 600 seconds and yeah, so this, this is a one name server and I will do the another I will create another so that it now is there are four servers so I will I will add them in my ODD portal hundred seconds so we are in step four so you can see here so once the user types some uh, domain in browser for example azure.codajourney.com so the request will go to the code ID and here it will check whether any uh, it will look for ANM and CNM record types so it will check whether there is a Azure uh, in the name so it if it doesn't find it then it will check the name server records so it will find that there are name server records so what it will do it will redirect the request to these name servers and these are the name servers of Azure so if we go here and here it will see like uh, once the request arrives here uh, so there is no record as of now set for uh, a and c name so what we will do here we will leave it empty so that once the request arrives directly on azure.codajourney.com and we will uh, choose c name again here and here we will sorry mm, we'll write it this so okay so we will create this record so we can make it at the rate each level must contain letters numbers underscores so a wild card we can do the star and just create a record so now we have created a record here as you can see star c name so whatever request that arrives on azure.codajourney.com it will then redirect this request to this record so once what happens in behind the scenes you know uh, once the request is uh, redirected to the azure dns name server so if we look uh this like this is a table and if i so azure maintain a table like this name servers so it creates an entry of azure.codajourney.com that is pointing out to this website so once the request arrives from uh godaddy to azure dns uh, with this name azure.codajourney so it will check in its name servers whether this record is present or not and if, where it is pointing so once it find it it will point it to this website so now let's check how our implementation is working or not so we'll you know, instead of godaddy we just type azure.codajourney.com so as of now it is not working but uh, as i have already you know uh, we have not given this too much time so we'll have to give this whole setup some time so that you know it could reflect over the internet so i'm going to pause my video and we'll get back to you once it will working so it should hardly take uh, uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so 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 now uh, i'm back and we can see uh, this url so as you as we have said uh, azure.codajourney.com so we will go here and type this so it is not working but we will see here that what we have created uh, we have created this star dot uh, star dot azure dot code dot com so if i put uh, abc dot azure dot code dot com so it is working as and it is also pointing to, to the same side so now uh, we have seen that now we are managing this uh, uh, domain records at azure so we can also 
do some another configuration and see how does that work so we can do we can create another record set and uh, we can just type at the rate and instead and at the rate is uh, you know what at the rate will do you know if you want to want to keep this url just as your dot .com, you don't want to put some abc and anything like that so you can just write at the rate and uh, at the rate is only supported in type a record so if you go to cname then it would it wouldn't be supported and uh, yeah and this for this we will have to use some ip so we will have to check the ip of our resource so uh, here uh, i will create uh, sorry i will go to this is your portal again and we'll see my website and we'll check for the ip so i will go to the custom domain and here's the ip i will copy this ip and uh, i will go back to this and i will just do this and i will press ok so uh, I mean, we have created this so uh, a records and that is pointing to azure.coderjourney.com. So now, if I type this in browser, so it should take you to the same thing. Yeah, it is taking some time, but yeah, eventually it will take you on the same page. So now, this is what we have done is like you see that on this, uh, you know, meanwhile, you have been redirected to this website. So now, uh, you can create as many uh, subdomains here in your uh, DNS records. Uh, sorry, in DNS zone, you can create as many records as you want. And uh, all you all you need to do is you know just go to the uh, GoDaddy and create a subdomain and point it to the name servers that uh, of the Azure that you created earlier. So now the question is, you know, this is for subdomain. So now what if you want to, uh, you know, manage the whole thing on Azure. So as of now, we we are just, you know, creating subdomains like codeedit.coderjourney.com, azure.coderjourney.com. But in case uh, you want to manage everything on Azure, then what you can do is, you know, just go to this name servers and change it. And change it and point them out to Azure's name servers. So for that, uh, you you should not be creating a record for a subdomain here instead you should create a record for the complete domain so as your sorry dns just type dns here you should create a record for uh, the complete domain so here instead of writing subdomain you should write it like orderjourney.com and it will create a resource for that and it you will get the name servers out of there and all you need to do this you know uh, enter my own name servers and just point out the azure name servers here so what will happen in background once the request comes here from the browser to godaddy godaddy will uh, see that the name servers are of azure so it will redirect them to azure's name servers and the request will arrive to your azure dns and uh, then whatever you have mentioned in Azure DNS, the the website will be redirected accordingly. So the whole point of of saying is that like you don't need to manage everything. You should not be dependent on GoDaddy. And uh, if you are going with uh, Azure only, then you can manage everything here. So hope that hope that this tutorial would be helpful to you. And uh, yeah, if you uh, see and if you face any issue then you can let me know in comments and uh, also share your feedback and suggestions so that i i can improve in my coming videos thank you very much